Hey, Shalom, Shalom. I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushua, Bashem, Kakadaz. Double honors to the apostles and elders. Much respect to you, brothers out there that's preaching this word in the truth and sincerity. And Shalom to the elect of Israel. So, pretty much, who's Jake, man? And who's Edom? Who is Jake and who is Edom? Cause, Cause to me, man, if you look at both of these, both of these children right here, all right, they look like they can be both brothers. Maybe both of them's Jake. Maybe both of them's Edom. All right, who's Jake? Who's Edom? Ah <laughs> uh, man, that's that's why you gotta be spiritual in this thing, man. Not judge a man. By what by what he uh, looks like, all right. So who's Jake and who's Edel, man? Do do y'all know? All right. So at the top, I believe, and from what I seen, all right. At the top, what I believe and what I seen, um, this brother is Jake, and at the bottom, from what I seen, that's Edel. And then again, at the end of the day, I could be both wrong, man. You know, from the phenotype, his father looks like Jake. And from the phenotype, his father looks like Edom. Like I said, both of them can be both Jakes, all right? And both of them can be both Edom. But that's up to the Lord to decide, all right? That's up to the Lord to decide. All right? Because the Lord said... um, the Lord said his heritage is as a speckled bird. All right. Let's get that. <clears throat> Jeremiah. Let me see. Jeremiah. Where Jeremiah is. 7 and 12, I think. Let me see. Nope. It's lucky. I'm forgetting that piece up. Uh... it up so like yeah I don't forgot that uh precept all right this is Jeremiah 12 and 9 my heritage is unto me as a speckled bird all right so we're gonna come through all shapes sizes different colors and also through the curses all right we were scattered if you read that in uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 64. Let's see what that says. Since we uh, broke broke the covenant with Yahweh Bashim Yahshah, didn't keep our part of the contract, all right, Yahweh Bashim Yahshah pretty much scattered us across the whole earth. And that's why we looking like these other nations as well. Speaking like them, talking like them, walking like them, all right? But the spirit spirit inside you is is a is light all right so this is deuteronomy 28 and 64 and the lord shall scatter thee among all people from one end of the earth even unto the other and there thou shalt serve other gods which neither thou fathers which neither thou nor thy fathers have known even wood and stone all right <clears throat> so our people scatter across the whole earth they're looking like these heathen nations, talking like the heathen nations, following and worshiping these other gods like these heathen nations. You, you got Jake over here, Buddhism, uh, Christianity, uh, Islam, all that stuff. Uh, yeah, we getting around that time where it's Christmas time. So so Jake and all these Edomites and other nations going to be putting up Christmas trees. All right. Drinking the wine of Babylon. All right. Let's also get uh, Romans 8 and 16. All right. So this is Romans 8 and 16. The spirit itself bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of power. All right. So pretty much the spirit, you know, you, you got to judge a man by his spirit, how he acts, what he does, you know. Is, is this truth resonating with him? But at the same time, two thirds of our people. 
if you give them this truth, man, you know, it's not going to resonate them. All right. The two thirds. You try to tell them that they ain't black. I mean, look, look at them, man. Like I said, um, from what I know, the brother at the top, his father is a Jake. All right. And, and you see him. And also his mother is a Jake, too. But he's light skinned, man. <laughs> light skinned like me. But through the curses, you know, we're called by all these by words. And it's just dumb, man. When when you be when you waking up to this truth, all right, them dry bones, you know, you start to get that flesh on that dry on your dry bones, and you start to drink and uh drink of this wisdom, all right. You really realize how dumb it is to call yourself black, man. Black is a color. Black is just a crayon color, man. <laughs> Nobody on the earth is, is the color black. And, and you can't fly to a place called black, man. I mean, it's just dumb. It's just dumb how our people just accept these things, man. All right. So like I said from the book, you know. He can be Israelite as well. You know, his father just looks like Edom. All right. That's up to the Lord to decide when he comes back. So this is Matthew 13 and 37. And he answered and said unto me, unto them. He, Salaki, I'm going to read that again. He answered and said unto them, he that sowed the good seed is the son of man. The field is the world. And the good seed are the children of the kingdom. But the tares are the children of the wicked one. So for this lesson's sake, all right, I'm going to call this call this child a, a terror. All right. Why is he a terror? Because his forefather, from from what I know, all right, his, for, his, his father, Salaki, so, so not forefather, his father, actually father, looks like Edom. All right. So he will be considered a terror. But if you look at both of them, man, they, they look like brothers, man. So it's crazy, man. They really do look like brothers. <laughs> All right. Like looking like they could come down from the same seed line. All right. <clears throat> All right. Verse 39, the enemy that sold them is the devil. The harvest is the end of the world and the reapers are the angels. All right. So Esau, Edom, through when we were uh, going in slavery and even nowadays, all right, he would take our women and we'll have children with them. All right. Not all the time, but, you know, this this stuff happens. You got to expect for this stuff to happen, man. All right. And so the child will come out looking like Jake. All right. Like I said, Salakia. Child looking just like Jake, man. You know, got the little curly hair. Side fade, I guess you can say. I'm looking just like Jake. But that's that's up to the angels and the reapers when they when they come. Alright. When they come and, and put put back order in this world, man. Because Babylon the Great is just filled with so much confusion it's just so much confusion these nations don't know who they are or they do and it's just a select you know a select few that do and, and the majority just calling themselves whatever and not by their biblical names our people's calling calling themselves black or africans or crayon box or whatever man all right hating on each other all right this is due to curses it's due to esau edom all right. Well, let me get that. Job 9, 24. You know, classic scriptures. All right, so this is Job 9 and 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? All right, these are telltale signs. How we can tell who the wicked is, man. All right, so the wicked... You know, you read in uh, 1 Maccabees 3 and 48 how the wicked took our books. 
or the images in our books and painted painted the angels Yahweh, Yahweh Shai and all them alright in their likeness gave them the leprosy man in their likeness alright this is how you can tell who's ruling the world another way how you can tell who's ruling the world is uh, pretty much if you say anything bad about a certain person Will you be reprimanded about that? All right. Like the so-called Jewish people. All right. Say anything about them, which is a tribe of Amalek. Say anything about them. All right. You you might get you might even get Tom. All right. <clears throat> so, yeah, man, this child would be considered a terror. You know, he can walk amongst Jake. And, and if you didn't know it, you would think that he's Jake. All right. Let me see, uh, verse 40. As therefore the tares are gathered and burned in the fire, so will it be in the end of this world. All right, so the angels is going to gather up the elect and they're going to gather up the tares to be destroyed. All right, the elect is going to be saved and the tares and the two thirds are going to be destroyed. All right, verse 41. The Son of Man shall send forth his angels and they shall gather out of his kingdom all things that offend and them which do iniquity alright so that's where you want to stay prayed up stay in this thing keeping keeping these commandments to the best of your ability call the priest you know stay on fire man go out there and preach in season and out of season alright stay on fire for this word and, and that you you know watch and pray that you worthy to escape all these things alright because you don't want to be cast in that furnace. Now that heathen death, man. All right, that second death. Verse 42. And shall cast them in the furnace of the fire. And there shall be welling and gnashing of teeth. And then shall the righteous shine forth as a son in the kingdom of their father. Who have ears to hear, let them hear. All right, so it's beautiful, man. You're the righteous. All right. You're going to get that crown of glory. But you're wicked and you the two-thirds. All right, you're going to be thrown in that furnace, man. All right, you're going to partake in that second death. So this is pretty much a quick one. I hope this was an edifying lesson. I want to give all glory, honor, praise to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Rekakadash. Do my honors to the apostles and elders. Much respect to you, brothers out there. That's preaching this word of truth and sincerity. Until next time, Lord willing, Shalom.